Hey, it's Sarah, also known as Quasi Thoughts. Um, I am kind of wrestling with a conundrum about rings versus astrology, and I haven't found many videos on this, so I thought I would just um, talk to you all about that and kind of where I'm at. Um, I don't really have a decision, so I'd like this to be kind of um, a conversation in the comments section below on things that you all have found. Uh, if that's something you're interested in, stick around. I do apologize if this is a little rambly, but um, it's going to help me process my thoughts to post this video. And it's also transparent. Um, so I have been using rings, and you probably have noticed this because I've been posting a lot more ring videos or, or videos about ring planners. Um, the latest thing I've realized is this is actually a B6 Apunto, and I've just gotten one of those... Uh, plastic ring um, planners off of Amazon. This one actually came in a pack of two and I just slipped it in. So I turned it into rings and I actually really like this because honestly I much prefer the layout of the Apunto pockets than like a traditional Campania. Um, and it also still has the back pocket which I really love the idea of and I love the stability it adds to the planter, planner but I'm not planter. <laughs> The planner but I'm not sure it's necessary like I can use an Amica or the Japanese one that I just posted and those don't have back pockets and it doesn't really reduce the usability of the planner for me so here's my conundrum I am really needing the structure of a dated planner for work having a paper dated planner to let me forward plan my tasks like I talked about in the Franklin Covey um, video that I did like the Franklin Covey insert ones where I compared the three different sizes is really really helpful for me in terms of planning my work but I am finding that I I can't consistently do two planners this is hard because I work in healthcare so if I want to have a planner channel which I clearly do um, and I just have one planner, it pretty much means I can't do flips. Or <laughs> uh, it pretty much takes any daily or weekly or calendar page that I have and means I can't flip those pages, right? So that leaves what, like what's left after that, my thought pages, and those tend to not be the most helpful pages for people. So, you know, if I put everything in one book, then um, I'm limiting the content on that, that I have available to me on this channel, which, you know, honestly is okay. Like it's more important to me to have a functional planning system than to have content for my YouTube channel. So let's just take that and put it aside. Um, but basically I started using rings and I stopped using my Stology. And this was working for me to a degree. Like I was using it to kind of plan out my day I got a lot more use out of being able to forward plan my tasks um, here, but it meant that all of my personal tracking and my goals and my memory keeping and my journaling has kind of just fallen off. Like, um, I'll show you an example. Like, you know, this is my memory keeping for the month. And this is June and, you know, we're like right here. So I have this card where I've kind of written down things to go back and back plan, but that's just, I don't really like back planning. Like to me, this is functional if I can do it real time. And if I can keep up with it real time, then it's useful and I'm getting value out of it. If I have to go and back plan because I don't want to do it in the moment, then it's not serving me, right? That's how I feel. Like the other thing that I want to point out is like, my gratitude right so I was doing my gratitude regularly and then I stopped I had some challenges in here you just see that like I stopped really tracking my pages right so there's that the other thing that I'm wrestling with is I really like the kind of consistent setup of astrology where I'm like you know, using it real time. It is a snapshot of my mind and my thoughts and I'm setting up just enough pages that I need for the moment. So kind of on a weekly cadence is nice. I am doing deco real time on those pages and 
it's not like a pre-planned thing because I, I pre-planned out a lot of these pages towards the last bit of June. And you can see that like, I just stuck a quote here because I didn't, I didn't take the time to go back and fill this out on the 18th, right? This is the 19th, 20th. I just, I stopped, I stopped using it. And maybe that's what I needed for the moment. And sure, it lets me use up my stash and stuff, but it's becoming a thing that I have to make myself do. So it's not really useful. Whereas if this is my book, this is my one book, and everything I do is in here, then I'm in here. And it becomes just a real time, like, ooh, this happened, and I'll write about it. And ooh, an hour later, this happened, or I thought of this, and I'll write about it. Unless if I have to remember to go fill this out later, right? So, I, I feel like I have two options. Uh, you know, there, there is the, I guess there's a couple options. Some of them I've already discounted. So there's the B6 Franklin pages, right? That I could keep, like my friend is not dead set on having the book, so I could keep it, I could use it. But one of the things I love about the Stology most is my ability to think on paper. So then I'd have two books again. And I don't really like, um, hold on a second. I don't really like, this is it. It's the Franklin Planner and Astology in another B6 Apunto. And it fits, right? It, it won't fit if I make my Astology this big, but it, it works. Um, I don't like this. And I don't, I don't, I mean, I, I don't know why I don't like this. I used, uh, a traveler's notebook for a long time. I used a traveler's notebook with a cafe note and a weeks for a long time, which is just a variation of this really. Um, and it worked. I don't recall it being difficult to like have a, a hump from one notebook to the other or anything like that, but I'm feeling not drawn to this solution. So I've kind of put this aside for the moment. That is an option to get both a dated and, you know, a notebook, right? I do want to say I have a journal, so that's a separate book that I don't plan on incorporating all in one. Like I, I would like to, but I would just I would use the notebook way too quickly, um, cause I, I mean I journal close to, sort of between eight to six pages a day, depending on the size of the notebook, and that I mean I would go through astrology in like a month and a half, at that rate, and then then I, I lose kind of the tracking ability over time, right? Because that's the benefit of rings. If I am tracking month over month in my rings, I can keep like an annual tracker for the whole thing because I'm just removing the pages I don't need anymore after the fact, right? And so I'm contemplating, do I make an, a new Stology? Because this one is almost out of pages, right? I mean, I do have about 30 odd spreads left in here and that would possibly get me through July if I didn't have many thought days out there. So I could, I could eke this through July or I could set one up maybe on a quarterly system. So intentionally set it up to just be a quarter, have four books a year. This, this is sort of what I'm leaning towards. Like I, well, actually what I'm leaning towards is either fully investing and in going full bore into rings and making this my one and only planner. Because initially my idea was to keep this as like my idea book and my thinking space and this is just a straight schedule. But I need them together. I need them in one planner. So either I go fully into rings and I start putting my tracking um, kind of like a home binder. I mean, there, there's the potential to layer on a home binder onto this. So I would have my planner, my journal, my home binder, right? I have a work home binder thing, but that, that resides on one note and I'm comfortable with that. Um, so, you know, I could still use rings potentially, uh, but I, I double down and I put more than just a calendar in here. Cause all this is, is a calendar and some note pages, which if I'm honest, I'm not really using and go full into rings, but I am honestly not as excited about using rings as I am about using a bound book. There is something to me personally that I prefer in a bound book. So what I'm leaning towards is setting up Astology, maybe cutting it down to B6 slim size, because I, I do also kind of find these pages a little bit wide, 
Like sometimes I look at them and they're a little too square and I feel like that's incredibly nitpicky, but I keep having the thought. I've been journaling in a, um, a B6 Slim of late. This is a Naname Cafe Note inside a D-ringed Gilio Slim Campania, which works for now, but this, this notebook is gonna outgrow it momentarily. As a total tangent and a side note, I really wish Gilio would make like a, a B6 Slim size for like a, um, a Gibon Techo or Astology, so like just a little bit taller. Um, a punto in that size and then also in like a standard size that would just tickle my fancy um okay i lost my train of thought uh yeah so setting it up on a quarterly basis so i will have you know i'm thinking um i know a, a quarter is only three months but i'm thinking of doing like three full month setups so i have the calendar I have my goal pages, I have my tracking pages, I have my budget, I have like all the things that I want to do in any given month. Then I have one more month of like forward planning that's broken out as an actual month. And then I have some spreads for the remainder of the year that are like, you know, maybe a paid, like one page per month so that I'm, as I'm forward planning in, and that, that, I have space to put things down that need to happen on those months, but it's not investing that much space for those months so that when I'm coming to the transition of a quarter, I have space. So, I mean, if I do this for July, it'd be July, August, and September. So October, when I'd be going into a new book, I would have space set aside to be forward planning that I could then transfer into the new book when the fourth quarter rolled around, right? I hope that made sense. Um, but I wouldn't feel the need to keep all of the October pages at a go because I want to not feel like I have to conserve the notebook pages because I'm also noticing it now where I don't have many, many spreads left and I know I don't have a lot of spreads left. So I find I am weighing my thoughts. Like, is this worth writing in here? Because I don't have a lot of spreads left. So I know as I run out of space in the notebook, I will use it less, which means I am keeping more in my head, which means I feel more chaotic in my brain. So I need to have a significant amount of blank space so I feel like I can use the space. I hope that makes some sense to somebody. But I also want a dated planner. So what I'm, what I'm thinking of doing is setting up like weeklies and I don't, I don't know that I really like weeklies, but maybe I'm going to do kind of like a modified weeks layout where, where I take, um, where I take one side and I'm going to cut it into six boxes. So it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, totally did that wrong. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday right? So I make the weekend one box because I, I tend to disconnect from my planning on the weekends and fall more into my journaling and things like that. I will use more thinking pages on the weekend, but not so much like tracking tasks or I don't really have anything that has to happen on the weekend that isn't automatic already. So I don't need like a calendar or a schedule um, on those pages. And this would let me put anything planning specific, like scheduled, things in the week, but then it would also give me this page to write down any um, task specific things I need to forward plan to that week is my thought. And then I'm dealing with 14 of those spreads, 13 to 14, depending on how the, the months fall in a quarter, right? And that's significantly less space than trying to do a daily page. And that would let me have my daily pages then reserved for like I could do as they come. It could be like, plan as I go. Just uh, as a side note, do you see this seam here? Right here, how there's like a, there's darkness. This is uh, basically the middle page between two signatures in this book, and I took the spine off. When you, if you take the spine off, like you saw my spine video where I removed the spine from my histology, and you see these pages, the only thing holding the notebook together at all at this point are the stitches between the signatures. When I see this happening, I make sure to lay down a, a piece of washi tape right here to kind of give it a little bit more support. Um, I didn't mention that in my spine, cutting out the spine of my Stology book. So hopefully people will see this and <laughs> stay tuned on this video. Um, 
but yeah, that's my thought. So then that gives me um, space to have like a monthly, weekly, future planned section on a quarterly basis. And then I can still make my uh, daily pages be really functional and kind of ad hoc, if that makes sense, which is the definition of daily. <laughs> so I kind of journaled about this, right? Um, I'm just making sure. Yeah, I think I think I don't care if you read all of this, right? So I was kind of working through. I'm I'm pretty sure astrology has 600 or 368 pages. Um, I would do like a month uh, for three months or four months, sorry, and then future months at like a page a day for maybe four months. So that gives me the three months I plan on using the book and then five months of future planning. I feel like that's that's pretty significant. For the most part, I don't plan beyond that. And then I could do like one spread of the next 12 months beyond that where I'm putting six months on a page, right? That's a lot of future planning. And I have a, um, a better than good feeling that I would not end up actually using those pages. Then I could have my tracking pages, but just for the months of the quarter. And then I could have like planning overview pages. So like a spread that is, you know, a work master task list, a home master task list, just an extra page so that I could plan some day specific thing. Like if it's a birthday in my family or any kind of Christmas planning that I needed to do in December, let's say, or spring break planning or whatever, some, some holiday specific to the month planning. Uh, I want a, a spread for, for sure. And then I really am liking having my waiting, waiting on slash wanting on spreads. Um, I think it would be good to have a gratitude spread. I do want to keep doing deco. So having landing pages cut aside, like set aside for that, having my 14 weeks. And then I want, so each week would be like this page where the week is here and the notes are here. And then I want a second spread right behind it to kind of preempt a weekly review and just have like any weekly planning that needs to happen. I, I toy with menu planning. Um, I'm like decision phobic though. Like if I were to plan out a week's worth of menu items, like dinners or something like that, as soon as I plan them out, I don't want to eat those things anymore. So I find the less I can set in stone along those lines, the easier it is for me to make decisions in the moment. It's weird. I'm weird. It's okay. And then I would have um, daily pages eventually and then I, I want some annual pages. Like I want to celebrate my words of the year. I want to have a 2020 at a glance calendar with me. Maybe 2021 too. I want to have some pull out tracking calendars. And maybe if I tip those in appropriately, I can move those quarter to quarter. So I'm not rewriting things all the time. Um, I want to have some like quarterly task lists, like home projects, um, maybe projects for work kind of places where if that information comes up, I can put it there. And, you know, I'm toying with, does some of this need to go in a home binder? Some of these kinds of, like this this subject, this annual kind of lists, tracking things would be better suited in rings. I mean, it, it's much easier and much less repetitive writing that I would be dealing with in a ring binder to track and keep these kinds of things there versus in a bound book because I, I like using a bound book better. I like organizing a ring planner better. And I'm kind of trying to marry the two. So anywho, I, I kind of um, counted all of that out. I do want to add back in that memory month. So I'm doing a month in icons kind of a thing. So that would add some more pages. So I mean, I'm roughly at about 250 probably more than a little bit more than that because it's 239 plus another 28 pages if I do the memory month thing so I mean I'd, I'd end up with about 100 pages left over in astrology for ideas that's roughly 30 pages 33 pages or spreads no these would be pages 33 pages so roughly 15 16 17 spreads a month for ideas I hope that doesn't make me feel limited. And then if I predate all of these things, am I, like, where is the middle ground for me that I like that is, you know, 
where, where is the middle ground between having sections in a bound book and having the flexibility to just record my brain as it happens real time, which has been one of the things that I really like in this. But I will say, even with tabbing all the things, and I think in part this is because I haven't been really um, disciplined in terms of what my tabs mean, but tabbing all the things, it does make it hard to find things and reference things. I don't mind flipping through all the pages because I like all the pages in this book, but it does make it hard to have the information that I want out of here at a, at a moment's notice because I don't have things sectioned really. So that's kind of where I'm at. I feel like I, I'm not going to have answers to these uh, questions until I do it. But when I have gone through and predated and um, planners in the past, I end up not using them. Much like, you know, these pages, how like towards the end, I just, I stop using them. And there's no, there's no reason. Like, these are adorable. I love the deco. I love doing the deco. Why did I stop? And I think where I'm landing is I'm going to lay out Astology for the next quarter. And I'm, I'm going to put just the bare bones in terms of dating on it, but I'm going to leave the deco to as real time as I can manage. I don't know. Like even that doesn't feel 100% right. And even saying I'm going to move back into astrology for the next quarter makes me sad because I have spent a lot of time and money investing in rings, even though this isn't technically a rings. I mean, I've got this ring planner that I bought recently. I have this ring planner that I bought. I have, you know, this medium XL that I bought a while ago, but I re-ringed. Um, I'm missing one. Oh, far away. I have this ring planner that I bought, which is a Giulio Amica, right? Or Amica, I think it's Amica though. Uh, I have a VDS ring planner that's on custom that I just finalized with Petra like two weeks ago that will have rings that, you know, I'm not gonna get for like another month, maybe, give or take, I don't know. And, you know, it feels wasteful to have done all of this and then still not have rings be my thing. So, I guess it doesn't matter, right? It's in accounting world, that's called a sunk cost. Like I've done it, I've spent it, it happened. I shouldn't base my future financial decisions on things I've done in the past that didn't work out. But maybe a home binder would work. That's just one binder though. <laughs> like I don't need multiple home binders. Um, there are some things that I think having outside of my planner aren't a bad idea like some tracking things, some budgeting things, maybe some goal work. The other thing I like about having a quarterly planner is that it lets me reassess my goals on a quarterly basis. So I would be chunking out my goals for the year quarterly. Um, I don't know, all of this has come out of trying to figure out what I wanna do for one book July. Um, I and And sort of realizing that I like the dated pages in terms of business prepping and planning and stuff, but I, I stopped using this and I don't like that I stopped using this because I really liked using this, whereas I don't really like using rings. I hope that made sense. Um, I would love to hear about how you all are kind of going back and forth on rings versus a bound book. How do you how do you think about it? What are, what are your things that push you in one direction versus the other? Because I don't have the answer on this conundrum. And, you know, while I feel like setting up one of the style, I have a couple spare stologies, so I'm thinking of setting it up and just like investing in having it set up and then seeing how I feel about it when it's tangible and in my hands and set up for a quarter the way I'm envisioning it and then deciding if I want to do that or if I want to go for like the whole month of July in my ring planner and put the tracking pages and the goal pages and you know the memory keeping and everything in rings that I had been avoiding doing so far and just sort of turning this into my one book that rules them all. So 
I don't know, I would love your advice or opinions. Also, if you know of any other YouTube videos that kind of delve into this topic, because I've been looking and searching and I feel like I'm not searching the right topics because I come across people, you know, discussing uh, rings versus strings a lot. Maybe I need, and I, I've seen a couple that are like um, a bullet journal versus astrology. And then maybe this is kind of like the call for dated planners versus undated planners and like how do you go between the two because I, I truly do believe it's not the type of planner you're using it's the system you're using within that planner and maybe my um, inability to decide is based more on I haven't figured out my system fully yet so that I can adapt it to any type of planner I feel like going into um, but I you know I don't know. That's where I'm at. Tell me your thoughts. Um, if this was interesting and you want to see more of these kind of vlog type discussion videos, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz. Uh, anywho, thank you for watching. I know this is really rambly. I don't know how many people will actually make it this far. <laughs> but if you have, thank you. I really appreciate it. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. So talk to you later.